Okay, I am going to be bum-rushing my way through the recently released Thundercats Roar episodes. I've got a lot of catching up to do. i uh, got to go from episode 3 to 6, so... Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy. Uh, the only reason I'm doing this is because I challenge my friends and myself to not only watch Roar, but also watch uh, The Owl House because he wasn't so fond of it. Whereas I was not so very fond of Roar, as uh, you might have surmised. So yeah, here I go for doing the first without context in a while. Oh, you know what I absolutely detest? Uh, sound effects that are done via vocal noises? Please, don't, don't do that. Don't do that for an actual show. Please, please refrain from ever using that. Is it trying to be like Cookie Cat? It's like... Ah, yes. Lionel. So dumb he can't even open the lid off of a jar. Technically speaking, he's not wrong. It does have a call for help function. And of course he uses it as a jar opener. Wow. I think even Kid Lionel wasn't this immature. Like, really? <sighs> Why is that a thing? Why is that a thing? Just use a f***ing Jarvener thing, it's like a piece of uh, rubber that's got like a texture to it. You can just use that to untwist the lid. You're, you mean to tell me that the technologically advanced Thundercats don't have that? They don't have that marvelous invention! Come on. Come on. Uh, <laughs> the animation is not metal enough to merit this song. Please cease. Thank you. Oh, what was that shot? What was that? Oh man, this is some really, really odd edits, right? But it, he's working on the Thunder Tank. I mean, if you've been watching him, you might actually figure it out, but well, no. Oh, what? Fail, who uses that term anymore? What is this? 2007? Was that used in 2007? Was it 09? It might have been 9. It might have been 09. I know it was like late 2000s. Oh yeah. We're going to be so progressive with Chitar gets captured. Oh, this was a setup. Yeah, I saw that twist coming like three miles away. Or rather, the untwist. What do you even call this, really? I'd call it Myth Reveals, maybe? Oh, that's actually a decent shot. I think, like, the storyboard artist may have changed, because it, it's actually looking pretty competent right now. It's one thing to do the lessons, it's another thing to handle them poorly. Field test? Eh, at least th at least Panthro's kind of good. You know, the thing about this episode is that this never would have actually needed to happen in the OG show, because Lionel wasn't a complete ditz. And rest in peace, it's Cookie O'Clock. You were a terrible time. You know what bugs me about the animation of this show? It's fluid when it wants a really good action scene, but when it gets choppy, I'm like, what does this accomplish, really? Like, does having them do this really tacky loop in celebration really sell their jubilation to me? Because I don't think it really does, because it looks very contained. It seems like a nitpick, but when the entire episode is just full of these little microcosms of how wonky this show is, it gets irritating. But anyways, next episode! Episode 4 Prank Call! Okay, here we go. Uh, intro skip. Why is this technologically advanced set of people, I can't call them a proper society just yet, but why do they have a old ass CRT TV? Why do they have that? Oh gosh, it's the fing Silverhawks. No respect for the Silverhawks. To be fair though, I didn't I didn't watch Silverhawks. Cause that did not get the attention that Thundercats got. Wow. Yeah, he is stupid. They straight up call him Baby King. <laughs> wow. He is just straight up admitted to be an, a, a complete man-baby. Oh my gosh. 
Oh, man. Uh, oh, really? You're gonna drop that episode's premise? Let me... Let me see my... I freaking check in my mail because I'm just so... This is so boring. Alright. Alright, I missed absolutely freaking nothing. Why is Snarf the only one they're getting right? Why is Snarf the actual person who is in character? Comedy at all costs. The show. Snarf. Snarf is best character. Snarf is the only beam of light in a show of pure, unadulterated Yeah. Oh, save me, somebody. Save me, Snarf! This is dull. This is very dull. Oh, gee, it's a manual! Oh, boy. I wonder what he'll ever do with that. Man, I spoiled myself by watching glitch text before this. Now that is a show. Oh, my God, it's a f***ing Alexa. Well, yeah. Just resolved. Well, that's the episode. We're done here. Okay, we're done. Episode 5, The Driller. Now, The Driller is actually in both versions of the Thundercats. He was actually a quite the intimidating villain. Like, he was an unstoppable force, so no doubt that they're going to just utterly make him a complete wuss. I, I have absolutely no confidence that they're going to do this character any justice, because, I mean, the only character that's being done any justice so far is Snarf, and that's surprising. That is actually kind of surprising. Oh, come on, Snarf. Tigra, always fixing everybody's crap. Panthro, the curse of being the only competent Thundercats out of the whole bunch. Catra's like a close second, but I mean, that's a very low bar to clear. He would have been done at this point. He'd be like, okay, you need to fix this yourself. I need to get on with what I've been doing, okay? Okay, so this is probably the driller, I bet. Uh, okay, okay. Really, more mouth sounds? What are, what are you, Neil Cicierga? I hope I haven't butchered that name. You're not a complete wuss. You're not supposed to be. You're supposed to be the responsible one, but you're a wuss. Also, does everything, like, need to be 8-bit? I'm getting tired of 8-bit. Like, I know people who made this show are probably old enough to remember 8-bit, but I sure as hell ain't. And I bet the people who, I'm sure the kids that this show is aimed for, don't remember probably the 32-bit era. And to be fair, most people don't because it was so dang short. Alright. No, it isn't, Tigra. It is not. Yeah, I saw that coming. Your jokes aren't funny if your audience sees them coming. That is kind of a very redundant uh, existence. What the sh is this? Lion-O being the one to dispense wisdom? Did he just f***ing break the dude? Oh my god, he just gave him an existential crisis. Okay, I'll give you that one, Thundercats Roar. That is actually pretty f***ing crazy. Okay. I will give you this. My god, I don't know why that- Like, that is so funny, not because of how, um, hilarious that is, but just of how absolutely stupid lion -O was with that. Dude, you're the architect of this thing. You can fix it. You built this place. Oh no, that was the burbles. I'm sorry. So, we've got one good joke throughout this entire marathon. One really gut-busting joke, and we are on episode five. Oh, what? They're act- Oh, you actually bring that up. Oh, okay. Oh, wow, you actually remembered the mutants. Wow, I thought you forgot about them, because I sure as hell did. Man, I'm getting really salty with this. Probably because my sanity is being slowly drained by how utterly dull this show is. Wow, Lionel, you went from being surprisingly wise to complete dunce, new low, in the span of less than one episode. Wow, I take back what I said. Screw this. Like, every step forward for this show is three steps back. Three steps back. Oh my gosh, really? In the trash. 
Kind of like this show. <laughs> wow, complete immorality. That is great for the Thundercats. Wow. That is not just three steps back, that is an entire football field back! Hooray! <laughs> I don't have any wires. That gives me the moral authority to completely rewrite you. What are android rights? <laughs> oh jeez, this show is messed up. Episode 6! Secret of the Unicorn! Last f***ing episode to watch for this city! Also, uh, there were unicorns in the original Thundercats series because the studio that made it also did the last unicorn, so yeah, really neat stuff. I bet that's going to be lost on them, but you never know, because occasionally this show does surprise me. But that's only been once in like five episodes. So I ain't getting my hopes up. Mmm, skip an intro. Wow, it has been a total of, what is it, five episodes since the mutants were actual antagonists in the series? Oh boy. I mean, I guess, but that's a really low tier wish. We're doing the do the thing thing. That's a ver- that is trademarked by Varric Incorporated or whatever it is. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, they did know it, and they're going to be about as heavy-handed with it as possible. Oh joy. Kinda wish they forgot. That is more than the entire brain count of this whole show. Everything's going to ruin this moment. It ain't even funny because you set that up. Yes, unfortunately you have not called them out on using that thing. I mean, magic can be fun. But you also gotta treat it with respect, otherwise it's gonna blow up in your face. They were all captured by a red bull and it, oh god. I, I can't even do this joke. I can't do this joke. I'm in such an awful mood. Gee, it's like that's reflective of this entire goddamn show. Oh god. There is no consistency in horse head shape. There is no solid drawing whatsoever. What is character sheets? What is, why did, uh, uh, I, I question this show. I question this. This running gag is going on for too long. Fix the dang problem, Tigra. Uh, the mutants are dumber than usual. I mean, they weren't bright in the OG series, but man, they're dumb here. Okay, now this unicorn is getting on my last nerve! You know, this is kind of like... It's kind of trying to do the whole last unicorn thing, but it wasn't so much sadness as it was melancholy. And there is like this... There was this real somberness to the last unicorn that really gave it a lot of atmosphere to it. Like... Ah, man. I almost kind of want to do a design dungeon on it, but... Ah, oh, jeez. I'm just not in the mood. I am not in the mood. This show is put... This episode, this <coughs> episode is get is grating. It is so grating to me. Oh, gosh. How anticlimactic. But what do I expect? I mean, that's kind of half this humor. It's just anticlimactic. Yes, we have been utterly lacking in action for this show. Probably why it's so dull. In any other context, I would have enjoyed the image of Lionel on top of Unicorn. But this show is not very good at epic imagery. The absolute lack of solid drawing in that Unicorn is destroying my soul. It makes me want to be edgy. These unicorns are total wusses, by the way. In case it wasn't abundantly obvious. You know what I'd like? I'd like some badass <coughs> unicorns. Can somebody call up, like, Wayne Reynolds or somebody to draw some badass unicorns? I could really go for that right now. I am... I am broken. This episode broke me. The last one got my hopes up. But this f***ing thing broke me utterly.